Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and today we're gonna take another look at our NBG Pixel. Now taller, now more ready to go. Walk through everything we know about these things and how to make them the best you possibly can make them in your display this year. Let's dive in. So our NBG Pixel, we hit the market, we were one of the first with these. I mean, there were a couple before us, but with this particular version of it, uh, we were one of the first. And now we've got the taller version and, and all future ones are gonna be the taller version. And we've learned a lot in using them ourselves, talking to commercial decorators, talking to residential decorators, and working with these Pixels. And what we wanna do in this video is show you some of the things you need to know when using these Pixels, some of the things that are gonna be important, and, and what you really want to keep in mind, okay? Um, so they are taller now, and so the biggest complaint we got previously with the NBGs was them not fitting in Coro. The positives were, hey, you know, and, and we showed this in our last video, that they they did, the previous version did fit in 10 millimeter Coro. It just was kind of inside the Coro a little more, and it didn't really poke through at all. I thought it was fine, but some people really didn't like it. The 2.0 version, which we're not, in terms of marketing the product page, everything now is the new version. We're not calling it V2 or anything, it's just, it is the version. But the 2.0 version uh, improves upon that and fixes that and also just makes it fit just a little bit better. So they're still super lightweight, still super low wattage, which is awesome because you can run up to, we say about, you know, you can technically go to about 400. We, we recommend 250 to 300 at full, you turn them down, et cetera, but you can check our full spec sheet as we do with all our products on the product page. CoroFit, let's just walk through that really quick because that's the biggest question people have had. So here we've got standard bullet pixels and here we've got Evos, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and pop through a NBG right here. What you're gonna see is um, it does, we'll pop it through. This is such an awkward way to hold it. And so, this new version does pop through quite nicely and it does come out of the Coro just a little bit on top. In terms of mounting, okay, the two nubs on the side fit the nubs in Boscoyo and other branded props. Oh, I know at the current time, I don't know if Gilbert does this in all their props, but this is a Boscoyo prop. And the beauty of that is they fit in the nubs and then you just give it a turn similar to the Evo turn and then it's locked into place and it's in there really quite good. Okay, it really fits quite good. We have noticed with, for example, with HDPE props, if they curve, like for example, mini trees, you can, with a little bit of force, push the pixel out. They're not quite as locked in as bullets, but at the same time, if you're not pushing on them, I really haven't noticed any issues there. Let's look at mega tree strips. So mega tree strips are the one area that NBG pixels have just been a game changer. And it's why, as long as we can keep some in stock, I'm switching my, my mega tree over to NBGs this year. It is because they just push so nicely, so easily into strip. Now there's a couple considerations you might wanna be aware of as you do that, okay? First of all, what you're gonna see is they go in so stinking easily. You know, no matter which way you do it, just, you know, you're just pressing them in or you press down on the strip over it. Either way works great, really not difficult. If you are doing one inch spacing like I'm demonstrating here, you're gonna see that because the wire comes out the side, you do, you are gonna have extra wire and you're gonna wanna zigzag. You're gonna wanna zigzag a little bit. This is the real deal Boscoy Omega tree strip and they fit really nice and when it's dark, you don't see the wire or anything. Super easy to push in. And once they are pushed in all the way, they do fit in there really nice. Um, getting them out is not as bad as bullet pixels, but it does take a little effort, which of course is what you want. Those are kind of the brass tacks of it all. Um, you know, they, they now fit great in Coro. They pop out as far as uh, folks would want them to, et cetera. You're not like forcing them in like we were on the V1s. Um, they fit great in mega tree strips in your HDPE matrixes and mini trees, they fit really well um, with the one just slight note, and I'm using them on my mini trees, but the one slight note that if people do walk up and start to push on them, they can pop out. 
um, a little bit easier than bullets, which are, you know, very difficult to get out. Overall though, um, you know, they don't cost a ton more than bullets. And I think the advantages are huge, which is why we're ordering tons this year. We're ordering tons next year um, because we've just seen a higher reliability rate out of the box. People get hours on them. We're still seeing a high re reliability rate and just a really great build, you know, lower power consumption colors. The cool thing about it is you can see the colors really vivid here under our studio lighting. And that's one of the things I love about these is we've had them out on our deck for, you know, probably half the year now. And they just sit out there 24 seven. And during the daytime in everything except full sun, you can see some color in it. It looks a lot more vibrant than bullets, which is cool because now if it's not quite dark yet and your show's running one, if you're troubleshooting, you can see stuff. Two, if your show's running before it's dark, especially for those Halloween shows, you can still see what's going on and it still looks pretty cool, even without that full darkness. And so these are the NBG pixels. Again, one of the new style of the dome pixels that a lot of vendors are having. Um, but we've got them over at learnchristmaslighting.com. It's got our two year pixel replacement kit warranty that we're doing on everything. The easiest warranty um, because we just give you a replacement pixel so you don't have to worry about with clickets. So you don't have to worry about like unpunching a whole bunch of pixels from a prop. You just use the clickets, insert it, you're good to go. And uh, you know, two years, really quite simple. But the coolest thing about these is, you know, we've pushed a lot of these out into the wild and we've had one bad pixel so far. And that was an out of the box. And you know, that happens with anything, right? Other than that, you know, we're testing them, we're rolling them, we're using them personally in our shows. We hope you try them too, because the NBG pixels, I do believe are a big improvement over bullets in a lot of ways. Um, not only in the short term in look, and ease of use because of the, the lower power rating and the nice thick cable, like a typical bullet pixel cable, not like a pebble cable, um, but also the longevity factor. True UV stabilized plastic. This is the real deal, good stuff. And it's, you know, performing amazing in full sunlight. They're, they're wearing well so far. And we truly believe the longevity because there's less components on the board. Um, there's no resistor. There's nothing stepping down the voltage to 12 or from 12 volts to 5 volts or 3 volts. True 12 volt pixel, which means less components, but it still has the nice thick wire, which means it's going to do better at being reliable over the long term, which is what we're all about. Sorry, David Peace. Um, he makes the click. It's so, you know, he wants pixels to be unreliable. With these, it sure doesn't look that way. Even if they are unreliable though, you can still use clickets. And we've got all of them over at our store, aboveavl.com. Just click holiday lighting and we'll have links to that directly below. We try to keep a ton in stock as much as we can so we can serve you throughout this season. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.